All right. Time to change AFCO shorts. These are getting mighty dirty. Guess I'll put on these old, these old bleached out from the sun ones. Look at down here, down the crotch. The color is almost new compared to out here on the pocket. And I'm wondering why my pants fall down constantly. I can't keep my pants up. Starts out with this, what is this, a 511 belt? I think so. Great, great belt. Let's make a little hoop here. That holds up the Buck 110. Now at seven and a half ounces, this is gonna pull anybody's pants down. I'm not gonna be without it. Then there's my right in the rain and dates that I'm booked. That don't weigh nothing. Then my minimalist wallet with a clip. That's all I carry. Yep. And zero cash in there because I never seem to have any. Next, Palm, P-O-M, O-C spray, commonly referred to as pepper spray. Then the Cold Steel, three, three inch holdout. This doesn't weigh a lot, but this is an Aus 8 version. Sharp as hell, easy to keep sharp. Love these. Uh, then, of course, got to be prepared. That's what everyday carry is all about. Then I got my Knipex. What are they, three or four inch? I think it's a four inch Cobra pliers. Sit right in my pocket. And of course, a wonderful little flashlight. Let's say a Nikron. It says it right there. I've been carrying this and using this so many times. It's ridiculous. I've got two of them. The anodizing is wore straight off. You just turn it to turn it on. Easy, anywhere, USB uh, charging. You just move that little collar around and you got the whole magnetic base. If I ever have to like pick up screws or nuts and bolts or whatever. Then instead of, as you can see, a multi-tool, I carry these. Got a little Phillips, got a little flathead. And they really work great, and they're cheap as hell on Amazon. You can get a 10-pack for damn near nothing. Then, this is my universal pen, all brass. Goes right in there. So, I always have a pen with me to write in my notebook when somebody calls for... A charter. That stuff, it's minimal, but still it pulls my pants down. Then a big, this goes on a service belt, law enforcement service belt, which I guess this is sort of like for holding the keys. I don't like those little tiny ones. They suck. This thing, you can see the paint's been more off. I've been carrying this for years and years and years. So that weighs a little bit. What is that? Oh, it's still got that on there. Tactical key ring holder from Zach Tools. ZachTools.com. You can find these on Amazon. And then, of course, my actual keys, in which I finally found one of these that doesn't come apart. It's actually hard to get off. In a winter, I like to start up my diesel truck, let her warm up. So I got my truck key and then I always forget shit. So I have to run back in the house and then I've got my just lock keys and house key. But believe it or not, I've never had this thing come loose, never. I got this for like two bucks 
at uh, what's that place called? It's like a Harbor Freight, but it's not. Um, I always call it National Tool. It's one of them other tool places. Big ring, small ring. Oh, and then on here, can't ever be without my brass and stainless toothpick. And you can take this. This is another thing you just can find on Amazon. And the nice thing about this is somebody comes up near you, you just give them a little bit of this before you give them a little bit of this. And uh, this will take care of a lot of stuff. And it might be actually a way to pick something free, like uh, birds' nests that customers put in my Shimano Triton 100s. Always had this with me, picking out birds' nests. So there you go. Yep. In Florida, I don't wear no jeans. I don't even own a pair of jeans. I wear AFCO Blue Water M01 shorts. That's my EDC. But, god dang, my pants are always falling down. <laughs>